The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria releases on Steam and Xbox. The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria has an official release date. The crafting game developed by Free Range Games and published by North Beach Games. This game is set in the fourth age of Middle-earth, the beloved fantasy world created by legendary J.R.R. Tolkien. For those who have been eagerly awaiting the release of The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria, this game will be releasing on August 27 for PC and Xbox Series X Vertical Bar S for a huge discounted price of $19.99. Due to the release of the game on new platforms, The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria will also be getting the update The Golden Update, which includes crossplay across all platforms, as well as a sandbox mode. There will also be plenty of more content throughout the new update, as well as updates and quality of life improvements that have been implemented since the release of the game on the Epic Games Store. The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria Kanda, Dev Talks post launch roadmap in having the genre's best combat. These updates have been live on PC via the Epic Games Store since October 24, 2023. The updates have been live on PlayStation 5 since December 5, 2023. The sandbox mode has been in beta via the EGS version of the game, and is now fully launched across all platforms for players. It allows players to have the full potential of the procedural generation system, with a game generated through a wide range of random seeds. Every playthrough has the potential to have significant difficulty changes, with layouts varying massively. As this sandbox mode is highly unpredictable, it's recommended that people play this mode once they are familiar with Return to Moria or other survival games that are similar. With the cross-play elements, players on any platform can now host a game, with players on Steam able to host 8-player sessions, with players from any platform being able to join. Along with the sandbox feature and the crossplay feature, there are also new armors and weapons that have been added to the game. There are 14 new weapons and armor in total including a wolf skin hat, Gontorian shield, Kazad halberd and much more. These items are only discoverable through the sandbox mode, but they can be transferred to the player's campaign as long as the dwarf is equipped with the items as they transfer over. One of the most important functions added in this update is the ability for players in single-player game modes to pause the game. In addition to this, players can also fine-tune their difficulty settings, which includes how aggressive enemies are, combat and more. 